Human Resources and Population Growth In this module, you will learn about the concept of human resources, population growth and population density. The people living in a country is its population. It is broadly divided into three sections. 14 years and under consists of children. 15 to 60 years make the adult group and 60 years and over are termed as senior citizens. Adults are capable of working and form the national wealth. They possess knowledge, skills and abilities making them valuable human resources. India has a large adult population which is a valuable asset for the nation. With proper training, education and health facilities, human resources can be transformed into human capital, thus increasing the national income. Human resources are of greater importance when compared to natural and material resources. Natural and material resources cannot produce goods on their own. Human resources provide the knowledge, skills, intelligence and the required workforce to produce goods. Efforts of human resources can be seen in all fields. India has the second largest population in the world. Initially, this figure was seen as an economic weighing concern. However, with China's economic success, Population is now looked upon as a resource. In 1901, India's population was 23.8 crores. In 2001, the population was 102.7 crores. In a period of 100 years, India's population grew four times. In the 2011 census, the population was recorded at 121.01 crores. The increase in population over a period of time is known as population growth. Population growth is expressed using percentage. This percentage is called the rate of growth of a population. An example has been provided here. There are two ways to calculate rate of growth, namely decadal growth rate and annual growth rate. In India, a population census is done every 10 years. The population growth in 10 years is called decadal population growth. The growth rate of a population is calculated using the given formula, where QR represents the present population and QP represents the past population. Look at the following example. The total population of the Badami village in 2001 census was recorded as 5,000. The total population of the Badami village in 2011 census was recorded as 7,000. The decadal growth rate calculated is 40%. The rate at which population grows every year is called the annual growth rate. The annual growth rate can be calculated by dividing the decadal growth by 10. The annual growth rate of the Badami village is calculated as 4%. The birth rate and death rate of a country determine its population growth. When the birth rate exceeds the death rate, the population growth rises. When they are equal, the population is stable. When the death rate goes up, the population growth falls. The crude birth rate is the number of babies born per thousand people. Similarly, the number of deaths per thousand people is the crude death rate of a nation. 
crude birth rate and death rate are dependent on education and available health facilities. Crude death rate falls rapidly while the crude birth rate falls at a slow pace. The number of women per thousand men is referred to as the sex ratio of a country. The sex ratio is calculated using the given formula. India's sex ratio is imbalanced with the number of women being far less than the number of men. The girl child is considered a burden which results in female infanticide. There is also negligence towards the female infant. From a biological point of view, the number of men and women should be equal in a society. The population density of a country reveals the population pressure on that country. It is measured by dividing the total population of a country by the total land area of the country multiplied by 1000. An example of calculating population density is given below. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on human resources and population growth.